Yeah. Oh, that's fish got arms as well. That's yeah, fish got, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, liquor. <laughs> Welcome to Fact or Fishy with the best in the business, Sea Harvest, where we will be unpacking some frequently asked questions and myths with the help of an expert. Could be one, it could be two, it could be ten. I don't know, but I do know my name is Devin and I'm your captain bringing you the facts from the sea for you to see. From the deep waters of the ocean to the surface of your plate, how does the fish you eat Get there. In the comment section below, tell us how long you think it takes for your liquor fish to reach the shop from the sea. Is it A, B or C? Let me know in the comments. Let's take a closer look at the process. From the sea to your plate. While enjoying your crisp and chunky fillet, have you ever thought about how this became this? We had the opportunity to chat to an expert who had all the answers we needed. So let's take a look. Wait, hold up. Before we check in with the experts, let's ask the public some easy general knowledge questions around fish. Come, let's go. The first question I have for you. Ten fish in a tank. Three die. Four swim away. How many do you have left in the tank? Three. Three. Well done, Terence. Well done, Terence is smiling. Yay, hey, Terence, lick up. Three. Three. Please tell the camera. Three. Three, very <laughs> confidently. Look at you, look at you. Ten. 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 <laughs> Seven. That was easy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you, 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 you confident? <laughs> yes, what do you say? Seven. Seven, spot on. Look at you. <laughs> Welcome to the game. <laughs> Ten fish. Please Ten fish. Ten fish. Yeah. Yay, yay, yay. <laughs> you proud? Are you proud? Yeah, you're proud. I, the I, I can oh, see that, I can see that. Seven. Seven? Yeah. That was yeah. quick and easy. Seven, yeah, they can't swim away anywhere, they're in a tank. Ten. Nice! Tough, that's tough. Oh, look tank. at you, how are you team now? That's nice. You were thinking long that's about tough. it though. That's tough, that's tough. <laughs> Man, these answers. Nah, let's get back to studio. The expert is in the building. Yes, now I know that he is passionate about food and he is the group commercial manager for Sea Harvest. Jacques Stewart, welcome to Fact or Fishy with Sea Harvest. Thank you very much, Devin. It's an absolute pleasure to be co-hosting with you today. The next question I have is pretty simple, but not many understand. I want to know, how does the fish we eat get caught? The fish that Sea Harvest predominantly catches is a white fish species called hake. So the technology used to catching hake is called bottom otter trawling. A fish trawler is anything between 20 to 100 meters in length. And these vessels will catch hake at depths between 200 and 800 meters. On these vessels, we have a crew which consists of a captain, we've got engineers, we've got fishermen, and we've got quality control people. So when we come back to what is bottom otter trawling or otter trawling, this is basically where you deploy a cone-like net at the back of the fishing vessel. The Sea Harvest's net is all geared with the latest technology and the sensors. So whenever the net is full, the captain is alerted and the net has been brought back to deck. In my mind, I'm literally thinking it's a man with a, a rod and he's catching fish. But now I understand uh, there's, there's methods, there's methods to, to what you guys do. Where does Sea Harvest catch fish? Well, first of all, you need to be able to get a license to fish uh, commercially in South African waters itself. And there's a designated area in which you can catch the fish. And in Sea Harvest's case, we can catch fish up to Namibia and usually we catch down to the, to the east coast, down in Port Elizabeth side. So when it lands, how does it become a hake fillet or fish finger? The first option is where the product is graded. It is then processed, it's filleted. It's, it, you can convert it into a skin on or a skinless format. And it has also been trimmed, making it look lovely and it's frozen or it's sold as a fresh piece of fish. We have, are very fortunate to have another factory facility on the key side, which is capable of producing battered, crumbed, 
sourced and seasoned products, very much to the liking of the Sea Harvest Fish Fingers, Sea Harvest Crisp and Chunky, and Sea Harvest Fish Friday products that you get in retail outlets. How long does it take until the frozen fish uh, is transported to the grocery store? So we get frozen product that's been landed and fresh product that's been landed. Frozen products that's been, been produced from our land-based operations into the local market, those type of products will take about two weeks before it's on shelf. And the reason for that is, is purely because of the logistics of getting the product to that retail outlet along with the long and very rigid quality tests that we perform on the product to ensure the sea harvest quality has been maintained. In the case where we land fresh fish and we sell it as fresh fish and you buy it as a piece of fresh fish in the retail outlet, that piece of fish could be within two to three hours after it's been landed on the quayside, you can buy it in store. Wow, look at you sea harvest, impressive. Jacques Stewart, it's been an honor. Moms, parents, everyone, you've heard it here today. Fact or fishy with Sea Harvest and Jacques Stewart. Jacques, thank you for coming and sharing your knowledge today. Thank you, Devon. Really appreciate it. Good to speak to you. Wait, but before you go, it's time for a little Did You Know? Did you know that hake is a nocturnal fish? During the day, it spends its time in deep, dark waters, and at night, it swims to the surface to find food. I don't know about you, but I've learned so much today. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to be the first to watch the new fact or fishy videos. In the meantime, get even closer to the sea with Sea Harvest Surfer, Zia Hendricks.